Unfortunately, I couldn't get around this web, and it looks like this spider is running after other players. This spider scattered its web all over the house. Wait, seriously? Do we need the yellow key again? It looks like we've reached Mom's bedroom. If you like and subscribe to the channel now, I will show you what she does there. Come on, guys. About three, two, one. Bluey, get out of here now. I changed my clothes here. <laughs> Hello, everyone, friends. And today we will escape from the house that was attacked by a giant spider. Oh, no, not spiders. I'm very afraid of spiders. I hope this spider doesn't kill us. Oh, no. Here he is. He came down the stairs and is running towards us. It's good that he's slow enough and we can run around him. I really hope that we really don't have to meet him because I'm incredibly afraid of spiders. And I really hope that this time no one will eat us. Okay, we're in the attic, but I don't quite understand what we need to do. Perhaps some players are already going through this game right now and we connected to them in the middle of the game. And it seems to me that we should try to go through this game from the very beginning so that we have an understanding of how it should be done. Therefore, during the first game, we began to explore the location so that we began to understand what we generally need to do in this game. And we waited for the timer to end in order to start this game again. Okay, it was pretty obvious that we wouldn't be able to complete this game on the first try because we don't quite understand what items are needed for what. So let's try to start this game on the second try. Okay, it looks like now we will finally understand who among all our players will become a spider. In fact, I wouldn't really like to play as a spider because it seems to me that it is very difficult. I think it would be great to become a spider. Look, he ran towards us and he sniffs us but it looks like he finally decided to get into this girl's head, and now she will become a spider. Okay, we roughly understand what we need to do in this game, and now we need to explore this entire location in search of the items we need. Now we'll skip this intro and start playing right now. I hope that the players who are playing this game with us now are not beginners, and they also know what to do. But I think that first we need to somehow get into the attic because there are a lot of useful items in it. We need to somehow find the stairs here. But I can't even imagine where it could be. I hope other players know this and will start creating it. It seems to me that the stairs should be in some fairly obvious place because it is actually very large. And it seems to me that it cannot just be somewhere in a random place. I think that now we still need to start looking for something else. We need explosives so that we can break this hatch. So let's explore this house in search of explosives. Okay, I think the explosives must be nearby somewhere. Now we need to find at least one item that we can use somewhere. And to be honest, even though we explored the location before, I still don't understand at all what we need. And the most important thing is not to get caught by the spider. Otherwise, he will attack us and eat us. By the way, last time some girl had a spray that we sprayed on this spider and it was immobilized. Oh no, here is this same spider and he is now running after us. Okay, now we just need to go outside the house and look for an object behind this house. I think we're going slightly in the wrong direction. And in front of the house, there were no useful objects at all, or our team had already taken them. Well, I hope someone has already put up a ladder, so I think we should run straight to the hatch to the attic. Yes, I also think that this idea is much better than just running in front of the house. Okay, now let's go to the second floor, and I hope that this spider won't catch up with us while we're here. Unfortunately, no one has put the ladder up yet, and it looks like this spider is running after other players. We urgently need to find a way to get to the attic. There is some kind of hint here, but I absolutely don't understand what it means. Okay, I think we need to keep exploring the house. In fact, it seems to me that lately we have been just wandering around this house mindlessly and not doing anything useful. I hope our team is not angry with us because we are still newbies. By the way, this spider scattered its web all over the house. I think she should step into this web. Otherwise, we risk ending up in the same situation as this girl. I really hope she manages to get out. Yes. Just look, she's already running after us. Well, great. Now we need to finally get into the attic. Okay, someone already put up a ladder for this attic, and now we can finally climb up and get this yellow key. Great. It's very cool that we finally know where we can use this yellow key. 
And now we need to run behind the house in order to finally use it in this dungeon. I really hope that other players have finally blown up the hatch. Just look, we can finally go down this hatch. Well, let's see what awaits us below. Oh no, it turns out we needed a wrench that had been lying in our inventory all this time. Well, now let's go back for him to the very top and use this wrench to open these lasers. Okay, let's go back to this attic. I really hope that this spider doesn't catch us while we go back upstairs for this key. Oh no, she's been waiting here for us all this time. Well, we need to deceive her and I hope that we will succeed. I don't understand why other players close the door because this closed door greatly prevents us from passing. Oh no, she left a web here. Oh no, unfortunately, I couldn't get around this web and now we need to get out of it. Great! It's good that the spider wasn't around all this time. Okay, now we take this wrench and head straight for the laser in this bunker. I really hope that we can break this shield and the spider won't catch us. Great! Someone managed to stun this spider for 20 seconds. Now we have a lot more time to open this door and I hope that this time we can do it. Wait, seriously? Do we need the yellow key again? Lord. We run back and forth all the time, and it really irritates me. Yes, this is really very annoying, but I think that we should definitely go through this game now, because we finally started to understand what we need to do here. Okay, this spider has settled on the first floor near the fireplace, and I think that this is the very place where we should stop walking. Now we will take this yellow key, and I really hope that next we can finally take something useful. Okay, we finally got the yellow key, and now we need to quickly get down into this bunker. In fact, it's very difficult to get around this spider because it constantly sits on the first floor, and it looks like it has now caught one of the players. I really hope that he will be able to escape, but it seems to me that his chances are minimal. We have five more minutes. Only half of the game is over, okay? We finally opened this safe. Look here for the purple key. This guy took it. Looks like now we can finally open the main door and escape from here. Unfortunately, three of us escaped from here. One guy didn't have time to reach this boat, but nevertheless, we managed to beat this game today. In fact, although I am very afraid of spiders, I really like this game and I hope that we will play it again someday. Now let's move on to the next game. Hello everyone, friends, and today we will again play a rather nasty game. Oh my God, is this really that disgusting game with poop, vomit, and all the other nonsense? Yes, this is exactly her. But now we need to help this guy who the snake has grabbed with its teeth. And it looks like we managed to do it. Oh my God, seriously? This guy got hit right in the ass by an arrow. It seems to me that he is in a lot of pain. Now we needed to remove the tip of this arrow, and now we got the arrow itself. Now this guy will undergo treatment, and I hope that he will fully recover. And now we are moving time to the next level, and here we need to help this girl with her disgusting mole on her forehead. Oh Lord, does she really have such a terrible hairy mole on her forehead? It seems to me that it would not hurt her to remove it. But unfortunately, all we can do is just help her remove the hair from here. But I think it will also be useful for her. At least she won't look so disgusting. It remains to get the last hair, but for some reason, it sits very tightly in this mole. We need to try to do this. Excellent! We finally got that hair out, and now she can take a selfie. Cool! I'm very happy for her. And now we need to shave this guy bald. Well, it seems to me that he won't be very happy with his new hairstyle when he wakes up but it seems to me that his skull shape allows him to still walk bald and not look scary. Okay, now we will need to do a brain transplant for this zombie. It seems to me that what is now in his head instead of his brain is really not what should be there. Yes, it seems to me that the poop definitely shouldn't be in the skull. Okay, let's take it out and put the brain here instead, but it seems to me that it will be quite difficult. Yes, it looks like this will really be as difficult as possible. Well, let's get a new brain for this zombie and try to get him off this tray. But it seems to me that this is quite difficult because there really isn't enough space. Looks like we've made a terrible mess here too. I hope this doesn't stop us from transplanting this guy's brain. By the way, we have almost put him in the skull. All that remains is 
to close his brain. Looks like we really did it! Now we need to put this porridge on a plate! Great! Now he seems to have become a little smarter. Well, now we need to kill another zombie who was more aggressive. Looks like we need to destroy her brain. Great! Now this zombie will definitely not attack us, and we will remain winners. Okay, I'm very glad that we were able to defeat him. Now we need to help this cow give birth to a calf. Oh my god, seriously? I think this is the most disgusting level I've ever seen. But we were able to help give new life to this beautiful animal. The only thing is that it really looked as disgusting as possible. Okay, now we need to help this guy at the water park. Looks like he doesn't like standing in this huge line at all. Okay, now we need to send these two pink men down this slide. But it seems to me that this slide is not particularly safe because these little men hit the edges of this pipe when descending. I don't think they were very pleased. In fact, I hate queues at water parks as much as possible because the descent usually takes a lot of time. So you have to wait for a really long time. That's why I don't go to water parks on weekends because there are usually a lot of people there at that time. And you have to wait a long time to go down one of the slides. Well, finally, our little man comes down and he screams really, really loudly. Although, judging by this picture, it seems to me that he really liked everything. Oh no! Don't tell me that now we will... Lord, seriously? This cat has worms, and we need to push this pill into his stomach so that we can take out all these worms. Lord, I think this is the most disgusting thing we have ever done in games. Let's go through this level as quickly as possible so as not to focus on it because it seems to me that I will puke if I continue to watch this. God, it was really terrible. Well, now we need to help this wounded soldier. I think we need to use a tool to remove the bullet from his body. This is also the most disgusting. It seems to me that this guy was in a lot of pain when he was shot. But after we take the bullet out of him, it seems to me that he will feel much better. Great. Now let's move on to the next level. And here we need to get the porcupine quills out of this guy's butt. It looks like this guy absolutely accidentally fell on his butt on this porcupine. And it seems to me that he was in maximum pain because these needles went very deep into his butt. But nevertheless, we were able to get them. And now, I think this guy needs medical help. I think we did a great job with this guy's help. And now we need to help the next person. And this guy wants to do a good job. He wants to plant this beautiful tree. Well... To do this, we need to dig a hole, but it seems to me that our shovel has disappeared somewhere. We need to find her somehow. Well, great! Looks like someone helped us and brought us this shovel back. Lord, it's actually extremely difficult to control her because she constantly returns this land back to the hole. This really infuriates me. It looks like this is truly one of the most difficult tasks in this game, but it's good that it's not as nasty as many previous tests, because here we just need to plant a tree, and it seems to me that it won't be so difficult. Okay, now we need to move this seedling straight into the hole we dug. I think we can do this with a shovel too. Great. Now that the seedling is inside, I think we should bury it with all the soil that is lying nearby. Cool! Now this tree will grow very big. Wait, seriously? Did he plant this tree on his grandfather's grave? Okay, that's cute enough because he left it as a keepsake for his relative. Now we need to replace this IV. In fact, this test is also not the easiest because here we need to think very carefully about what we need to do. Now we need to take out the old drip from above and install a new drip and then connect this tube with a needle to it. I think it will be very difficult, but I hope that we can handle it. Now we need to secure this dropper to the top. In fact, this test is really not easy because you need to try very hard. But we were finally able to connect this needle and now this IV works. This is very cool. It looks like this guy is very hungry. He probably wants to eat some noodles, but I think we can help him with that. All we need is to immerse these noodles in a glass, cover them with seasonings, and pour boiling water on top so that these noodles begin to brew. I really love this kind of noodles. It seems to me that they will really be as tasty as possible. 
I really hope that this guy will really like our method of preparing these noodles and that he will remain full after eating them. And now, we will need to help this guy get everything unnecessary out of his nose. Oh my god, wait, seriously? In this level, we have to take all this crap out of his nose with cotton swabs and stuff it into his mouth? It seems to me that there really have never been more vile levels in this game. In my opinion, this guy himself wouldn't really want all this nasty stuff to get into his mouth. But nevertheless, we did it all. Great. He spat all this nasty stuff out of his mouth, and now we need to help the kangaroo who was attacked by a coyote. He needs to quickly jump into his mom's bag. Great! He's finally inside! Well, it looks like we were able to save him. Now his mother will protect him. And now we need to move to the next level. Here we need to make a sandwich. And I think that this challenge will really be very cool. We need to first put the bun, then put the tomatoes and put cheese with bacon and lettuce on top. I think it will look as delicious as possible. At least we will try to make it very beautiful. In fact, this game has two complex physics, and it seems to me that we may have difficulty making this burger beautiful. But I hope that we will still be able to do it. Well, now we need to put the cheese on, then put the bacon on top. I already love the way this sandwich looks. It seems to me that we can make it as appetizing as possible. And the guy for whom we are preparing this sandwich will be very happy. Well, now we put the salad. Now we need to put the tomato on top and then the bacon, and then cover it all on top with another bun. I think this sandwich looks as delicious as possible. We were finally able to make this sandwich. Well, I'm really glad this guy liked it. Now let's move on to the next game. Hello, everyone, friends, and today we are in the back room for Shrek. It looks like we've reached Mom's bedroom. If you like and subscribe to the channel now, I will show you what she does there. Come on, guys. About three, two, one. Bluey, get out of here now. I changed my clothes here. <laughs> mm, I think this already sounds very scary. Oh, God. I think this girl just fell. Maybe she was too scared of Shrek, who was standing in front. This guy is waving at us quite friendly. We need to figure out how we can get there. It seems to me that there should be some buttons here. Although, maybe we can just go there? Yes, great. We were able to come here. And we also found some kind of metal wire in this thing. Okay, now we need to go along these arrows and look for a way out. I think there are some other different strange things here. And by the way, Shrek is running right behind us. I think we should hide in this room from him. He somehow managed to cause damage to us through this wall. Well, I'm not going to sit here forever and I think we need to get out. But this Shrek still continues to haunt us, and it really pisses me off. It seems to me that we should have moved along these arrows, but there are some other rooms here, and unfortunately now we are at a dead end. This Shrek managed to deal 25 damage to us again. I think we need to be as careful as possible here. And by the way, we can accelerate using the shift button. Wait, seriously? Is there still a donkey here? Okay, it looks like we have a lot more pursuers here and unfortunately we just can't get rid of them. It seems to me that this will be a really very difficult game. I thought this game would be easier, but it looks like everything is really complicated here. Well, okay, now we need to look for the right way out of here and I think it's not that easy. Unfortunately, due to the fact that Shrek constantly manages to catch up with us, we cannot open different cabinets that contain loot. Oh no! It's Donkey again and he very cleverly watched for us. It looks like he really, really wanted to damage us. Wait, seriously? Is there also a gingerbread man here? It looks like there are really a lot of pursuers here and we will have to try to escape from them all. It seems to me that this will really be as difficult as possible because they move quite quickly. But now, we are running along these arrows, and it seems to me that very soon we will be able to find some way out of here. Okay, let's explore this closet. Maybe something interesting will be here. Okay, this is plutonium. Wait, seriously. We took damage from the plutonium and because of it we died? Okay, it was the most sudden death. Okay, now we will start our second race, and this time I think we shouldn't stop. 
We just need to run along all these arrows in order to finally find a way out of here. And by the way, the gingerbread man immediately attacked us, and but I think we can escape from him. He dealt us 25 damage. Lord, it seems to me that it's very bad that we immediately received some damage at the very beginning of the game. And by the way, we picked up some kind of coin again. I'm very interested in what we can buy for it. And we also found some strange metal. I'm very interested to know why we are looking for all these items because we can't sell them or do anything with them. Although it seems to me that we just haven't studied the game interface enough yet. I guess we'll find out later. Now we need to continue to move along these arrows in order to finally find a way out of here. And it seems to me that we are really already as close as possible because we have already gone further than we went last time. You're right! We definitely haven't been to this place yet. Okay. I really hope that the exit is really somewhere nearby. We are moving along the arrows. Okay. It looks like we need to jump here. Cool. We finally made it to level two, and now we have some kind of key. It looks like we need to use this key to open these houses. It seems that in addition to the houses, there are also various heaps of garbage in which there may be completely different loot. Okay. Here we found some kind of jar of water, and it remained in our inventory. I think we'll use it later. For now, we need to keep looking for loot and opening houses here. By the way, these houses are very similar to Peppa Pig's house. Perhaps the developers took Peppa Pig's house as a reference for these houses. These houses really look extremely unnatural. They stand on an uneven surface and are tilted in different directions. It seems to me that if I got into such a space in real life, I would definitely start to panic. By the way, we found plutonium again. But for some reason this time it caused us damage. This is a very strange mechanic of this game. Well, we continue to search for the right door in this huge number of different doors. It seems to me that this will take a very long time. It also seems to me that we will really have to explore a huge number of doors. Well, I suggest running to the next house and trying to open this door. We finally opened the right door. I wonder where we will end up now. Oh my God, look at some creepy white walls here and a huge amount of water on the floor. Well, it looks like we now need to run along these arrows again. I'm very interested to know what they are for and what kind of monster we can meet here. I hope there won't be any water monsters here. Okay, we just turned the valve. By the way, look here. There is some kind of fish. I really want to know what we can use it for, but I think now we better continue to move in the direction in which these arrows are pointing us so that we can avoid meet the monster here. And now we will need to move on. We have finally found a way out and the water is much deeper here. Okay. Now we need to swim in this direction in which the arrow turns out so that we can finally sail away from here. In fact, I'm as scared as possible to swim here because it always seems to me that now some kind of water monster might appear around the corner and attack us and drag us under the water. Well, okay, let's just not think about it and continue swimming further. But in fact, during the entire time we were sailing around this location, we didn't meet anyone, so it seems to me that we won't meet anyone here again. By the way, it's very cool that we have a full supply of our HP, and this happened because we drank the water that we found in the second level. Well, we finally swam to some hall, and it looks like we need to swim, or rather go straight. It looks like now we will need to go down there, where this arrow is pointing us. In fact, I'm as scared as possible to do this, but it looks like we'll still have to swim there. Okay, we're heading towards some scary black door and we've finally reached level four. Wow, it looks like we're in some kind of multicolored tunnel. Well, okay, I hope nothing scares us here. In fact, this location does not look scary. And here, in fact, it looks like children's tunnels that are often found in shopping centers. And here, all we need to do is just move along the direction of these arrows. I think that we will pass this level quite quickly, too. The main thing is to just follow the arrows that are drawn here and go in this direction. It's good that there are quite a lot of these arrows here, and we won't get lost. 
But it's starting to seem to me that we are already walking in circles. Because these tunnels are very often repeated and... Oh, God, what was that? Oh, no, I think it's some kind of evil monster or something. Okay, there's a package here and... Oh, no, this clown is running after us. Oh, my God, I am very afraid of clowns. We need to escape from him as quickly as possible. It's good that I was able to deceive him and run around him. Now, the main thing for us is to just run forward. We just called some strange thing, and now we just need to keep running along these arrows. I really hope that they will take us to the exit, and this clown will not be able to catch up with us. This colorful labyrinth seems endless to me. We've really been running along it for a very long time, and at times it seems to me that we're really walking in circles. And also this clown who continues to run after us and continues to scare me very much. Okay. Let's just trust these arrows and continue to run in the direction they point because usually these arrows never deceive us. I'm already starting to feel dizzy because it seems to me that I'm starting to walk in circles here. We're really just running through this labyrinth and it seems absolutely endless to me. It seems to me that if such a labyrinth existed in real life, then the children after leaving it would age by five years because getting out of here really takes a huge amount of time. I really hope that the exit is really as close as possible to us because we have already been traveling here for a huge amount of time and I continue to hear the steps of this clown. Oh, by the way, we finally got to some spiral stairs and we finally got out of here. Well, it seems to me that it was really long. Now let's move on to the next game. Hello, everyone, friends. Today we are escaping from Among Us prison. Have they even made a prison for them? Seriously? Okay. Let's see how it differs from the original prison and try to beat it. In fact, already in the very first test, you can see small changes. Here, the developers changed the location of the platforms, and they also opened some kind of secret room. Okay, this secret room was as useless as possible. Well, now let's take the wrench and go straight to the first boss. Wow, this is a very funny red among us and it looks like he doesn't want to attack us at all. It looks like he has finally started running after us, but his speed of movement absolutely will not allow him to do this. He really tries hard. I'm even trying to give him a head start, but nevertheless, he definitely won't catch up with me. Well, okay, we are already at the top of these pipes, and right now we will find ourselves in a room with toilets. By the way, I really like the design of this game. The developers really tried very hard and made these locations as unrecognizable as possible. Wow, this room with toilets really looks the most beautiful. Okay, now let's go to the dungeon. There were no toilets in this room with toilets. Ooh, looks like we just pressed some kind of emergency button. I hope because of her we won't accidentally blow up anything or do anything unnecessary but we had to press the second button in order for these platforms to appear on which we could get over this lava. I really hope that the developers really continue to change the design of this location because it really looks very cool and it really is quite different from Barry's prison break. And now we found ourselves right in the corridor with a rolling boulder and it is huge white and glows very cool. I'm very surprised at how much attention to detail the developers showed. They really tried very hard to add all the elements from the original Among Us game. At least I see a lot of control panels. Well, okay, and now we see the second boss. And this is the Yellow Knight boss, Among Us. Okay, looks like he'll be just as slow as the previous boss. I really hope he at least tries to catch us. Oh, wait! Is he really stuck in the wall? Lord, it looks like he's not only slow, but also stupid. Well, we managed to deceive him but he really is in absolutely no hurry to run after us. He continues to try to catch up with us, but nothing will work out for him. Now we're going up those dilapidated steps and heading straight to the energy drink race. It seems to me that the developers of this game will really change this race because they show very strong attention to detail. Well, okay, now we'll take this elevator up and go straight there. Wait, seriously? Is it just a huge vent?
Maybe they just changed this location a little at the very beginning? Oh, it looks like not. It seems to me that it will really just be a very long run through the ventilation without any obstacles. Okay, this looks like the most boring energy drink race we've ever played. It was as stupid as possible to completely replace the location of the race with energy drinks with ventilation because it seems to me that this was the most fun challenge in the entire Barry Prison Escape. But because of this now, I really hope that the developers have made changes to the ruble. I think we should check to see if we're a traitor, okay? Looks like we're not even among us. Okay, now let's go up to this ventilation. It's good that the developers have already installed a ladder under this ventilation. And by the way, just look, they added glowing spikes here. Okay, I really like these decorations. And it seems to me that regarding the design of this game, there are no complaints at all. Yes, but I really hope that the changes in these tests will also affect the tests with valves. Oh no, looks like the developers left it exactly the same. Seriously? It seems to me that it is as stupid as possible to make these tests the same. But replacing cool tests with more stupid ones, this really pisses me off. It's very strange that this time you decided to take this test a little differently, but it seems to me that this is only because you are very tired of going through this test the same way every time. Okay, now then let's go up to the very top after passing this challenge and go straight to the fan run, because I really want us to finally pass some very epic challenge here. Now we need to run straight to this test, and I really hope that they left the distance between the platforms the same because when the developers leave the tests between platforms very small, then this test becomes as boring as possible to play because we don't even need to do anything. Just run forward. I think we will find out as soon as possible because we are almost there. Oh no, seriously? They made the distance between the platforms extremely small. Okay, it looks like we can just stand AFK and wait for our character to fly to the finish line. In fact, this fact really infuriates me that the developers are simplifying this game so much. This, of course, is done for children who play Roblox very poorly, but nevertheless, personally, it becomes extremely boring for me to play such games because it is almost impossible to lose here. But now we finally made it to the cafeteria, and now we will fight this green Among Us boss. To do this, we need to take this bazooka with food and start shooting with it. But it seems to me that this boss will also be as easy as possible because he is in no hurry at all. He does not run after us. He walks very slowly. He doesn't even throw food at us. It looks like this is really the most passive boss in the world, with the exception of those bosses that just cost AFK. But we were finally able to defeat him. And now we go straight to the slide along which we will go down and move on to the last two tests in this game. I really hope that these last two tests will please us a lot and will not be so simple. Wow, just look. The developers even changed the abyss. They added a spaceship reactor here. Well, actually, regarding the design, this game is very cool. But the tests in it are as idiotic and simple as possible. It's really almost impossible to die here, but the developers decided to change the colors of the lasers in this game, and I really like it. I really love it when the lasers are made in different colors. Okay, we just have to fly past the last laser to pass this test. Hooray, we finally did it. Well, now we can run on. Wait, seriously? In this test, did the developers decide to remove the bridges and just put the platforms close to each other? Okay. Now let's just defeat this boss first. Wait, we started shooting, but I don't see any weapons in our hands. Um, seriously? Is this food just flying out of us? Uh, okay. This really looks very strange, but this boss really looks very creepy. It seems to me that I have never seen such terrible bosses before. It's good that in this game we don't have to shoot at his hands and we can just shoot him straight in the mouth. Because of this, we defeat him. Great! It was very easy. By the way, the weapon was in our inventory all this time, but we didn't take it. And now we flew on this UFO straight to the next game. Hello everyone friends, today we will go through the most complicated Minecraft obby in Roblox. 
everything will be here today? A million deaths? Oh, wait, seriously? Oh my god, seriously? Again? Screams? Oh my god! Are you serious? Hysterics? Creator of this game is some kind of crazy fool. And victory! I can't believe I finally got this game. It seems to me that I will never go there again in my life. But before this video starts, it looks like we've reached Mom's bedroom. If you like and subscribe to the channel now, I will show you what she does there. Come on, guys. About three, two, one. Bluey, get out of here now. I changed my clothes here. <laughs> Look, here everything really looks just like in Minecraft. It's very similar to all the blocks from this game. It really looks a lot like Minecraft. It looks like the developer of this game is a huge fan. Oh, wait, seriously? Did we die on the first trial? Okay, looks like this will be a lot more difficult than we thought. It looks like we will have to try very hard to pass this test because it will really be as difficult as possible. And I really like the beginning of this game because I really like difficult challenges. And now it looks like we will have to try really hard. I am very interested in what tests lie ahead of us because all the tests that we are going through now are quite obvious. In fact, the first test was more difficult than all that we are going through now. Although in fact, it seems to me that this game should not be underestimated because something really more difficult awaits us ahead. It's not for nothing that they told us that this is really the most difficult Minecraft obby in all of Roblox. Okay, let's just concentrate on moving forward. I really hope we die very few times here. By the way, the developers really put a lot of effort into the decorations here because they even added the houses of the villagers from Minecraft here. Wait, were we really jumping on frogs just now? Okay, it's good that they are not alive here. Otherwise, I would feel as sorry for them as possible. It looks like you didn't notice that next we'll have to jump on pandas. By the way, I think pandas are the cutest creatures in Minecraft. When I was playing Minecraft, I got myself pandas and settled them in a bamboo forest near my house. By the way, we haven't played Minecraft for a very long time. It seems to me that if our subscribers ask us about it in the comments, we will definitely make a video of us playing this game. Okay, this test is really difficult. I hope I can pass it on my second try. In fact, here you just had to develop a tactic and stick to it. Oh no, now we will need to choose the right path. Oh my god, seriously? Again? It seems to me that this is definitely not the first and not the last time we die here. Okay, let's try to choose the left path, then choose the right one, and then choose the middle one. Oh no, this is another fall. But now we know two correct routes out of three. Okay, I hope that on the third try, we will definitely be able to choose the right route. Well, we took the road on the left, and we went the right way. Okay, that was pretty easy. Now we will need... Wait, seriously? Do we also need to choose the right path here? Lord, it seems to me that we are in this game for a long time. Look, it seems to me that now I will definitely guess the entire correct route. Great, we got through this. Oh God, I just stood on this platform, and they immediately killed me. It looks like this will really be as difficult as possible. Okay, let's try to somehow pass this test. It seems to me that it is not so complicated. I think I need to be more careful here. Oh my God, are you serious? This is really starting to irritate me. We went through this test for a really long time. It was as boring as possible, and it seemed to me that Bluey was ready to give up, but she tried to pass this level over and over again. And so we sped up the process a little for you. Okay, I've almost passed this test. I need to be as careful as possible here. Otherwise, I will fall down. Oh, Lord. Really? I passed it. Lord, I thought I couldn't beat this game today and would just quit. By the way, our dear subscribers, you may have noticed that a microphone icon has appeared above our head. And I think you know what that means. This means that we have verified our account and now we can try to record a video in which we will communicate with other players. If you want to see such a video, be sure to write about it in the comments. We are ready to do it for you. Okay, I think that we won't take any risks here and I'll just take the easy path because to be honest, I'm already a little tired of dying in this game. I just want to get through it as soon as possible. Okay, I really hope that we won't get stuck in this game for a long time 
because it seems to me that this will be the most nerve-wracking passage of any Roblox mode. It seems to me that I have never played anything more difficult than this game. I think that this will be the most nerve-wracking passage of the Roblox map in my life. I think you should stop thinking about it and concentrate on beating this game. Because in fact, it is possible to beat it. And I think that with your professionalism, you can definitely do it. Thanks for encouraging me. It seems to me that thanks to you, I will definitely be able to beat this game. Okay, now I jumped on these logs and now I need to jump on these logs with lava. The main thing is not to touch this lava here. Oh no, what's new here is this rotating thing. I think it will be very difficult to pass. But wait, Bluey, seriously, were you able to do this? Wow, that was really very epic. Yes, I just died again. Okay, I didn't know what this challenge actually meant. I had to guess the correct blocks. But now I managed to do it on the second try. And now we go further straight to these lava bagels. Lava bagels? Okay, that sounded pretty sweet, but it looks like it was the easiest test possible. Well, okay, so far all the tests ahead are not as difficult as I thought. At least they're easier than that boring zombie challenge. Oh Lord, don't remind me of him. I think this test will give me nightmares. It really was one of the most difficult tests in the world. And now we need to ride forward on this moving sand platform. But in my opinion, this test is also quite easy. Okay, now the most important thing is to not accidentally step on the rising platform. Great, we've done it again. Okay, the challenges in this game are really as difficult as they can be. Now the main thing is to stay away from this lava so that we definitely don't touch it and it doesn't kill us. Great, this test has also been passed. Now we need to jump on these cobblestones and go forward. It seems to me that the end of this game is really as close as possible. I really hope that the end of this game is the Ender Portal, which is located in the distance, because if after it we have to go through more tests, then it seems to me that this will be as long as possible. Oh no! Now we have to guess the right path again, and there are too many of these glass panels. It seems to me that we will be guessing this forever. I just hate tests in which we have to guess the right path because they are extremely unpredictable. Okay, now we need to jump on these platforms. Wait, seriously? But we haven't touched lava. Okay, it seems to me that there are too many bugs in this game. Actually, there are no bugs in this game. It's just that the creator of this game is some kind of crazy fool who made this game as hardcore as possible. Lord, I think I've died here a million times already. It seems to me that I will soon turn off this game, delete it, and never enter it again. In fact, at that moment, it seemed to me that Bluey was as close as possible to giving up and stopping trying to beat this game. But she didn't give up and kept trying and trying because she really wanted to get through it to the end. Accordingly, we also greatly accelerated all these attempts. Lord! It seems to me that this game is as impassable. Wait! Seriously? Did I succeed? I don't believe I actually managed to pass this test. God, I thought this would never happen. You're great, Bluey. I also didn't think that we would still be able to get through this. But now we will jump straight into this portal. Did we really manage to complete this game? Lord, it seems to me that this was unreal. Okay, well it seems to me that I am a few steps away from entering this portal. God, I can't believe I'm finally... Wait, seriously? Are there more tests ahead? Lord, it seems to me that this will never end. In fact, at this moment, Bluey thought that she would not play this game anymore because it completely pissed her off. But I tried to persuade her so that we would still pass these tests to the end and therefore we slightly sped up this video because the entire time Bluey was going through this map, she was swearing and angry very much. God, I can't believe I finally got this game. It seems to me that I will never go there again in my life. But nevertheless, it was really very extreme and very hardcore. I'm very glad that we were able to do this. Now let's move on to the next game. Hello everyone, friends, and today we will become a giant tornado. 
It looks like we've reached mom's bedroom. If you like and subscribe to the channel now, I will show you what she does there. Come on, guys. About three, two, one. Bluey, get out of here now. I changed my clothes here. <laughs> Are we really going to destroy this city? Okay, I like this idea already. Let's start growing. Looks like we need to gain size to become stronger. For now, we can only suck in small debris. We need to get a little bigger so we can suck up trees. But by the way, we can already do this. Okay, we are gradually gaining size, and it seems to me that soon we will be able to compete with a large tornado. But we can already break trees here. I'm really looking forward to when the very moment comes when we can break down buildings. I think we will start growing much faster. Oh no, this tornado is starting to hunt with us. We urgently need to run around him. Okay, looks like he gave up. Well, it seems to me that we need to be a little more careful because they are starting to hunt us more and more actively. Looks like this is the biggest tornado on this map. We need to be as careful as possible around him because at any moment he can attack us and eat us. I really want us to become bigger than him and eat him. Then we will become leaders on this map. And by the way, we are already in fourth place on the leaderboard here. This means that soon, we will be able to hunt other tornadoes. Oh, by the way, here's one of them. I think we need to eat it. Cool, we finally ate it. And now we have become even bigger. We have already scored 2,000 points, and this means that we can gain our size at a much faster speed. It seems to me that we can already eat this small building. Just look, we really become a very violent tornado and start to eat really big buildings. Okay, looks like we're about to start growing at a much faster rate. There are a lot of buildings here, and I think we can eat them all to become much bigger. For these buildings, they really give us quite a large number of points, and we have almost reached third place. It seems to me that soon we will start trying to hunt for really big tornadoes. And here comes one of these tornadoes! It seems to me that if we eat it right now, we will definitely become top two on the leaderboard. Just look how huge it is. And it seems to me that it is going straight to the corner now. If we squeeze him into a corner, we will definitely eat him. Hooray! We ate it, but unfortunately we didn't get second place on the leaderboard. But now we have 23,000 points and this means that we can now start to attack other tornadoes in this game. I think we need to keep looking for a tornado we can eat. I think we will definitely be able to become second on the leaderboard. It seems to me that our movement speed has decreased slightly due to the fact that we are getting bigger, but in principle, it is logical. And by the way, some tornadoes, without even noticing anything around them, simply crash into us, and thanks to this, we eat them. Okay, it seems to me that our gap from second place is decreasing, and soon we will be able to catch up with it. We're about to eat another tornado. Great, we've gotten even bigger. Oh, wait, what? We just got into second place, but it was because first place ate second place. Okay, looks like we're in for a really tough fight now, because the guy in second place has 100,000 points. It seems to me that we have no chance of overtaking him. It looks like the guy who takes first place has started to play very aggressively. And it seems to me that he is moving in our direction. We urgently need to figure out how we can avoid it and make sure it doesn't eat us. I'm very afraid of him. Oh no, he is moving towards us. And it looks like we have no chance to retreat because we are pinned in a corner. Our only chance of winning is if we manage to run to the shore. But it seems to me that this guy is a little faster than us, so we definitely won't be able to escape from him. Don't give up, Bluey. We still have a chance to escape from him. It seems to me that we can deceive him in some way. But it seems to me that the chances of our victory are really extremely small. Oh, no, he really ate us. It looks like it was very difficult, and he got a whopping 75,000 points for eating us. Now he really is the biggest player on this server. Now we can spend our earned money on new skins. I think that now we need to try to open these eggs so that we can get them. I think we need to try spinning this Wheel of Fortune first. Let's see what we get after the first spin. Oh, look, we got protection for one minute. Okay, 
Looks like this is a really useful reward. Well, now we will start opening eggs with skins for tornadoes. Okay, now let's open the very first egg. I really hope that we will receive a really worthy reward. Oh no, unfortunately this is the most ordinary green tornado. Well, I think we will continue to open until we get something more expensive. For the next few eggs in a row, we only got green tornadoes. But then we had a little success. I hope that now we will get something more interesting than Green Tornado because we have already spent a lot of money. But look, we finally got a Blue Tornado. It seems that this is not the most common reward, but nevertheless, this is definitely not what we came here for. Then we again received very useless rewards for a long time, and we opened a lot of eggs. We no longer hoped that we would come across something worthy, but a surprise was waiting for us. Lord, we've already spent more than half the money. Aren't we going to get a cool reward? Oh, look! We finally have the legendary Red Tornado. Okay, the chance of getting it was only 18%, but this time we were very lucky. During all this time, we did not receive the most expensive reward, although we spent all the money on these loot boxes. But unfortunately, this time we were unlucky, so we decided to go further to defeat these players with the help of our new skin. Okay, we spent all the money we had. Now I think that we should take the prizes that the game has prepared for us for playing it, and then we can go equip our skin in order to start defeating other players as a red tornado. We've equipped our red tornado, and now I think we can continue to try and fight everyone else in this game. I think now we will have a much better chance. By the way, we have protection at spawn for a whole minute, and thanks to it, none of the other players can defeat us until we reach critical mass. Now, due to the fact that we know the mechanics of this game, it seems to me that we can get bigger much faster. And by the way, the shield that we received in the Wheel of Fortune still works for us. Now we can continue to eat everything we see around until we get to the leaderboard. And here is our first victim. Great. We ate another player and now the shield on us is gone. But now our mass is already 1-200 points and in principle, we can start eating small buildings in this game. I see another potential victim. By the way, this guy has a blue skin and this is not such a cool skin as ours. And that's why this guy will eat us up. It seems to me that we started playing much more aggressively and now we can try to beat other players. Oh no, it looks like this guy wants to eat us, and he really succeeded. Seriously? We haven't even made it to the top of the leaderboard. Okay, it looks like these enemies are even more serious than the previous ones. Now I hope that we will be able to play much better on the second try. I think this will be our last attempt for today. We're already setting off right now to eat all the small trash on this road, and we're gaining our first points pretty quickly. By the way, there are three other players here, and it looks like they don't quite understand the mechanics of this game. Okay, our spawn protection is gone, and now we can start eating these trees. And by the way, there is a player on this server who wants to eat us from the very beginning, but it seems to me that he has no chance because we move quite quickly. Finally, this guy has left us behind, and we can continue to gain our mass. By the way, this time we also started quite quickly, and now it seems to me that we will be able to gain weight much faster. In the top players here, the biggest tornado has only 35,000 points, but I think we will be able to overtake him this time. Okay, we can finally eat buildings in this game. This is very cool. Wait, what? Oh no. This house spawned right at the moment when we ran past it, and it looks like this giant tornado noticed this and is heading straight towards us. Unfortunately, we don't have enough mass to eat this house, and that's why we're stuck here, like in prison. Oh no. Unfortunately, he ate us, but I really liked this game. I hope that we will play it again. Hello, everyone, friends, and today we will escape from Joy Prison again. But today, this is an unusual prison, Joy. This is a prison, Joy, Exy. It looks like we're going to be really scared today because this design is already starting to scare me. All the metal platforms here are rusty. They look extremely unreliable. Yes, it seems to me that in real life, I definitely wouldn't travel to such a place. Well, okay, let's quickly head to the location with the first boss. By the way, there's blood everywhere. 
Yes, it seems to me that this place is truly as scary as it gets. I really want to see this boss. <gasps> oh no, just look. She looks like a very creepy boss. She has big black eyes and a huge number of scratches on her body. This boss makes you want to run twice as fast because she definitely doesn't want to fall into her clawed paws. But it seems that she has problems with intelligence and she still hasn't learned to climb up the stairs. So we easily ran away from her. And now we need to run along this pipe and jump straight into the ventilation. I want to leave this place as soon as possible because it scares me very much. It seems to me that all the places in this game will be just as scary. Oh God, I definitely wouldn't want to relieve myself in this toilet because it seems to me that it would be better if I did it anywhere except this place. But the dungeon always remains the same. In fact, there is nothing scary in this place except the cobwebs on the walls. And this is basically the same dungeon as in Barry's usual prison escape. Well, let's quickly overcome it and head straight to the corridor. It seems to me that in this corridor we will also be as scared as possible. Well, okay, let's go straight into it. By the way, the notifications that constantly appear on the screen irritate me very much, and it seems to me that because of them, we can accidentally lose. Look, it's blood! It looks like someone here was crushed by this very stone, and it seems to me that this is the skull of one of those who could not run along this corridor. It's good that we go through such tests quite often, and they don't cause any difficulties for us. Oh no. It's Joy again, and it looks like this Joy is even more cruel than the previous one, because in this room she conducts experiments on people. I really wouldn't want this Joy to kill me. Well, to do this, we need to quickly escape from her to these stairs. And by the way, we managed to do it again. In fact, I was as scared as possible that she would catch up with us because I didn't want her to scare me. Okay, now we need to get to this elevator, press the lever, and go up so we can get to the energy drink challenge. And it seems to me that this test will also be very scary. By the way, just look at the design of this level. The developers really tried very hard and added light panels everywhere that highlight everything here very cool. I really like the way it all looks. In fact, this location doesn't look scary, but as beautiful as possible. The design here is really very cool. It seems to me that the developers of other Barry Prison Escape maps should have learned from this game because everything here really looks as cool as possible, but at the same time, a little creepy. And this is exactly the atmosphere that this game needs. And now, we will go straight to the test, where we need to put the ladder under the ventilation. And by the way, this location looks really quite creepy. And these wooden boards on the walls really scare me. It looks like we ended up in some abandoned house in a scary game. I jumped into this ventilation again on the first try. I'm very glad that these tests really don't cause me any difficulties anymore. By the way, just look. In this test, the developers changed the direction of this bridge and now it is on the right. Okay, it looks like we're actually getting a little scarier here because this location looks much creepier than the previous one. Okay, now we need to jump over all these rusty pipes. In fact, I'm as scared as possible here because it seems to me that at any moment this pipe could break. And by the way, there are really a lot of blood stains in this game that create the feeling as if here someone was actually killed. So I want to escape from this location as quickly as possible. I'm also really annoyed by the test with the valves and therefore I hope that we can really get out of here as soon as possible. Okay, we finally completed this challenge. Now we need to head straight to the fan run. By the way, I really hope that in this test, the developers left the distance between the platforms the same because if they reduced it, then this game automatically becomes more boring. I really love this test and I really like it when it's really difficult for me to pass it because I don't like easy tests. Okay, now we'll find out. I really hope that the developers really left this challenge difficult. Yes, just look at this education. The developers really left the distance between the platforms really large, and I really like it. They also painted the ends of these platforms with a rusty texture, and this really adds a creepy feel to this game. 
but it seems to me that it was most inconvenient for our hero to push off from rusty platforms during the jump. Here comes the boss chef challenge. <gasps> Just look. It's Joy the cook wearing an apron. It seems to me that she's cooking unusual food here. It's possible that she's even cooking food from people here. But it seems to me that it's stuck in the table. Therefore, we need to quickly grab this bazooka and start shooting at it. It's good that it's stuck, because it seems to me that if it weren't for this, it would be extremely difficult for us to defeat it, because it throws food at us as much as possible often. Because of this, this boss has become much more difficult. For some reason, she stopped taking damage from our shots. But no, look! She continued to take damage. Great, we finally defeated her, and now it's time to escape from this location because we only have two tests left before meeting the final boss. I really hope that we can cope with these challenges as quickly as possible. Okay, now we're down this slide. By the way, these constant pop-ups really piss me off. I think the developers should stop adding them because because of this, they are starting to alienate players. And I think that this is really wrong because some players may accidentally press the button during the game and spend their Robux. So I think for now, we just need to keep going through those tests. By the way, I completely agree with you about pop-ups, but I think that we will not see them again because we have almost reached the very end of this test. Now, we'll head straight to the bridge challenge that we'll need to cross with the help of our life hack. I hope that this test will not cause us any difficulties, although it seems to me that in principle, it cannot cause us difficulties. After all, we have passed it a huge number of times. I really want to see just what the final boss looks like because it seems to me that she will really be as scary as possible. Well, we finally passed this test, and now we're heading straight to the backyard of this prison. Oh no, this is a giant, rusty mechanical robot, Joy, and it seems to me that she is capable of killing us. The main thing is to dodge all the projectiles that she fires at us. She hit us several times, but I think she won't be able to kill us completely because we already broke one of her arms. All that remains is to continue shooting at the second one in order to kill it. And by the way, we finally managed to do it. Finally, we were able to beat this game. It was really very creepy, but these pop-up windows kept pissing me off. Now let's move straight to the next game. 